Now we can bring you some breaking news now. And Turkey's president has given his first reaction to President Trump's peace plan. For more on this, let's bring in our diplomatic correspondent, Hassan Abdullah, who joins us live from Ankara. Hassan, good to see you. Tell us what the president has said. Well, Maria, the president says that this announced plan will not serve peace or lead to a solution. And he said that this proposal has been made without taking the Palestinians into consideration and that this plan basically ignores Palestinians' rights and it legitimizes the Israeli occupation. And uh, he's also said that although some Arab countries are turning their back, uh, whatever the initiative is, Turkey will continue to raise awareness regarding the Palestinian issue on all forums. Now, President Erdogan has also said that when he spoke to President Trump over the phone a few days ago, he had said that uh, the U.S. should share the draft of this plan with Turkey so that uh, the plan forward could be chalked out. And he's saying also that uh, at the upcoming Organization of Islamic Conference meeting, uh, the foreign ministers of the various Muslim countries will be discussing this issue. He says that Jerusalem is holy for Muslims and leaving Jerusalem to Israel is not acceptable. Now, of course, this comes after the statement we've had from the Turkish foreign ministry and from various Turkish uh, government spokespeople who have said that the so-called peace plan, as they've put it, is simply a declaration attempting to legitimize the Israeli occupation and settlements. It is neither an implementable plan nor a fair assessment of the situation on the ground and that it seeks to satisfy Israel while squashing Palestinian aspirations. Now, uh, various few people from the Turkish government, including uh, Turkish Presidency's Director of Communication, Fahruddin Altun, has said that uh, the Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu is basically trying to use and exploit the situation uh, because he is facing domestic challenges. So this is the view from Ankara. Uh, the view is that uh, it's going to create two more problems and re lead to regional instability and that Turkey will do whatever it can to raise this matter on international forums. And Hassan, uh, remind us, and especially our international audience, just how important the Palestinian issue has been for Turkey, particularly the president. Well, this has been very important. Um, of course, Turkey has maintained a very consistent position on this, and this is something uh, the Turkish government has been repeating repeatedly. It said that uh, the Palestinians have been denied justice, the Palestinians have been expelled from their lands, they have uh, the right to return, and also all the United Nations resolutions that are being violated uh, by Israel, they need to be abide by. And also the Turkish government has been saying repeatedly that the international community has been silent on this matter, and that has been setting a wrong precedent as well. Furthermore, a number of Turkish officials I've talked to, they've been saying that one, when such steps are taken unilaterally, then that would basically strengthen the narrative of uh, various militant organizations. And even though Turkey is pushing for a political and peaceful solution, uh, what will happen is that such unilateral measures will basically strengthen militant organizations. So this is the fear here in Ankara. And uh, this is why President Erdogan has been saying that Turkey is going to try and raise awareness uh, with various international partners. Hassan Abdullah, thank you very much indeed for that reaction uh, from Turkey on the Middle East plan. Thank you.